Howdy, this is Thomas. Quick update on the Honda. Um, it turns out that the uh, door and the frame around it was super like buckled, pushed in, everything is out of whack. So I had to do some <laughs> major uh, cutting to get the old door out. So I just wanted to show you because I couldn't really find a good video on YouTube on this. So again, we are talking about the driver's side door, rear. Uh, so one advantage you have is that when you open the driver door, you actually have access to the mounting screws. Um, so I managed to pull those. However, I'm gonna show you on the on the driver's side, there is this uh, little connecting rod that prevents you to over uh, open the door and also and it just keeps everything uh, connected properly. So that turned out to be a problem because as you can see that goes into the door. So even if I even if I remove the hinge this thing will still prevent me to pull the door out from that way from the front right so what i originally wanted to do remove these bolts and then pull this door and then using the handle disconnect the latch and i would be able to remove the door but that little rod turned out to be a major problem so what i ended up doing I'm going to show you. So this is the old door. You can see that it has seen better days. So this is that rod. There's a housing in here. Uh, this is where it goes in and out, in and out as you open and close the door. So what I had to do, I took my angle grinder. I cut a hole on the door so I get access. Uh, to this little uh, housing so I had to cut it all the way around with an angle grinder so horizontal cut vertical cut another horizontal cut and now you can see it was free so I managed to pull this end out then it turns out that the latch was either broken or something happened I couldn't get it out what I had to do I had to cut a hole here for the latch and get a get a flathead screwdriver and this is the this plastic piece hmm. so this is this white piece where this green connecting rod connects this disengages the latch so I had to push a Phillips screwdriver in here push it down real hard and that helped me disengage the latch and I managed to remove the door. Once the door was removed, there, there was one more thing I had to do. So on, on the Honda, uh, they made it pretty awesome actually. This is the connector for the power window and the latch. So uh, you can remove this uh, rubber whatever thing and then disconnect the connector and then you can pull the pull the door so as you can see the new door is on however we have a huge gap so everything got smashed in pretty bad you can see how wide that gap is this is a for reference i can stick my palm in so we'll see what we're gonna do about this but you can see that at least i'm not gonna end up with a leak on the top right so that's that's already progress there's a door hopefully cops will not pull me over it's harder to see so uh what i had to do i zip tied there was a, a screw in here uh, I zip tied the door to that screw inside. I can take this out. You can see the zip tie uh, over here. 
so that's what keeps the door open because the latch doesn't doesn't engage because the, because of the gap it's so huge so I just keep these cloth here so mice don't get in or maybe it's an invite for the mice right so I'm gonna push this back in here um so yeah we will see how we're gonna fix this again this is a journey for both of us you will see but this is already progress bye